So there we go. Just one more to go. It's interesting that it's all the way down here underneath un a bridge thing. So, you know, it's interesting. But anyway, let's check this place out. And you'd think that the the water medallion would be based on the ice temple, but this one's actually more based off of the ice cavern because the ice cavern was supposed to be an actual dungeon. Which I guess it kind of is, but it's not a, a full one, I guess. It's, it's a little bit short. Ah, uh, but anyway. Take you out, please. We have to collect some blue flame as well. Which is fine because we also have the ability to get more fairies from that one spot we saw earlier. If we really need to, so. Now I'm pretty sure that this one is... Yep, ice trap. I broke out of it before it hurt me though, so that's pretty good. Ah, uh, but I'm going to need some... Blue fire now. So that's really some fairies that we don't need. Also, I think possibly some of the Deku Scrubs or one of the Deku Scrubs might sell potion. Maybe multiple. Can't remember. Not that I usually use potions, but it might be good to have a blue one just so you can get health and magic back. If you need it. Let's get three of these. There we go. Now I don't know if I need more, if I should get some more in, or, I, I don't know. I think I'll just grab an extra one in this empty bottle now. Since it's empty anyway. It just means I have to empty it out again at some point. Okay, let's see what's over here. Now, I believe... I have two minutes to get through this room. I believe what we need to do is push this block... ...like this... ...so that that... ...fills up that hole there. What's that pot over there in the corner actually has a fairy in it if you need that as well. Which you probably don't need. But if you use your blue... Uh, ...flame... ...you can fill it up instantly again. Probably not... ...that effective if you have... ...multiple... Things though. Also, I guess I could have just used one empty bottle twice. Because I think this is the last time I'll need to use the blue flame. So I really didn't need to use up three bottles, but anyway, it's fine. Ah, uh, there's a res rusted switch in here. There we go. And now we are good to go. Oh my goodness, of course I did. It's a good thing that that didn't reset the door. Otherwise I'd be really, really upset. But luckily it didn't, so I can just go straight through there. The water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up. And now we can go to the end. But I probably want to get some better equipment before we go up there. Mostly just whatever is in my bottles need to be redone. So let's get rid of all that blue flame since we don't need it anymore. Let's go check out the Deku shop. Down here. 
I think if there's anything, it's just gonna be, I just, all I want is just one potion of some kind. Ah, uh, but I can't actually... What's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? I can't reflect or repel their shots if I'm not... If I have the wrong shield equipped, so... Also, I didn't mean to do that, because that's annoying. Just don't do any more. Just don't collect any more, please. They're really trying to get caught. Uh, anyway, let's see what they have. Alright. You win. Spare me, and I will sell you a green potion. Uh, no way. Sorry. That could be useful, but not what I'm looking for. Bombs. No thank you. Arrows. Uh, no thank you. Did they not sell a blue potion? Red potion? Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to say yes, that's fine. <laughs> I don't even think that's as good as a fairy. Uh, so maybe I should have taken the green potion, but anyway. I can also reload the room. To get that green potion. Or I could just go all fairies, which I think I've always done in the past, so... It's probably just faster. Although, there's no more fairies left. <laughs> I have made a horrible, horrible mistake for myself. Uh, does this reload the room by doing that? Or is it just... Is it not like that? Oh, wow! Oh, wow, it is like that! That's kind of crazy. That's actually really crazy that that is like that. Anyway, let's buy this green potion. It all worked out because of loading zones. Perfect. Anyway, let's head out this way. And, I guess, equip some other stuff. I don't think I need that. Megaton hammer, maybe? I don't know, anyway. Uh, I guess we could have the mirror shield, but we don't really need it. But it looks cool, so. We also want to have the bigger on sword for this, so. Just for a little bit. So. Let's go on. It's time to ascend. Please take you out, please. Thank you. Bigger on sword is great for going up Ganon's tower because you can just do so much damage so quickly so you can get up nice and quickly. Also, I just love the music as we're ascending. It's not extremely loud at the moment, though. Please tell me I can do this. I don't know if I can, though. Uh, maybe if I... Long shot, hook shot into it? Nope, I might be a little bit hopeful. That's fine. Now, why are you going into the fire? Why? Well, sorry, am I wrong? Okay, that freezes you, which is interesting. Using light arrows. How did that miss? This is just rude. That fire was just too big to get through. But anyway, this is the last boss key. There we go. It's time. Keep on ascending. Music's a bit louder now. 
We also have two Iron Knuckles here. So obviously I want to fight them both at once. Obviously. That didn't do anything. That's unfortunate for me. Ah, come on. Okay, that's that one done. Oh wow, they have a block move. I didn't know that. Anyway, that's that one taken care of. And now, I think that's all the enemies out of the way. Probably want to switch back to the Master Sword at this point. And let's keep on ascending. The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. And now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Link, I can't help you because of the waves of darkness. I can't get close. I'm sorry, Link. Great King of Evil, Ganondorf. First things first, let's get to the edge because a lot of the middle platforms are going to just fall. In that cutscene, it also heals you if you aren't at full health, so don't worry about having to heal just before entering. You'll be healed anyway. But now we need to return Ganondorf's energy back at him, just like with Phantom Ganon. And at some point... He's gonna stun himself. We need to shoot him with a light arrow. Let's head into the middle. Switch over to uh, Bigger On Sword. And if we can do Smear Attacks, that'd be great, because then we could actually get him in one cycle. But that's a little bit difficult, so we're gonna have to do a couple of rounds. I think it's easier to hit his uh, energy ball back at him with just your regular Master Sword. Nice. Also, just quickly. Ganondorf, the king of evil, evil king. I have no idea what his weak point is. Well, that's helpful to know. But anyway. Must be on sword again. Nope. 
I might be wrong about the one cycle thing. It's fine. You want to price down the edges, I've found, is the easiest way to deal with this. Oh boy, too early. That's fine. Okay. Okay, he's charging up attack, so let's charge up our own. And go. Works about the same way as returning his shot at him. Which works well for me. So let's head on across. Big run sword again. There we go. <laughs> the great king, evil king Ganondorf, beaten by this kid. Link. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods, and... Link, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please, follow me. Okay, let's run. We have three minutes to escape Ganon's castle now. Can't go over the way we came, so we have to go out the outer edge, which is pretty cool. We also need to keep up with Zelda to make sure she's getting to where she needs to go. Stuff is falling from the sky, so we need to also be careful of that as well. And not jump off the edge of the castle would also be good. Zelda will open the gates for you once we arrive at each gate. If you get hit by something, Zelda will pause up for a bit, which is can be quite annoying. So be careful not to get hit, otherwise she'll gasp and slow down. Let's keep going. Okay. Have to make a few jumps. Which apparently Zelda can just fly over. Go, 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 go. Okay. This room looks familiar to us because we actually came through here earlier and the gates were here when we came through earlier. I just didn't point them out. It's pretty cool though. But we went through a couple of these rooms, so we are in trouble because we need to hurry up. Go, 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 go. Go, Zelda, go. It's a good thing I'm not having trouble with Zelda opening these gates because I think you can have a bit of trouble with her opening them. Okay. Zelda's been trapped in this thing, and now we need to take out this enemy, or enemies, to get her out again. There we go. Thank you, Link. Now let's hurry. Also drop some hearts for me. Not that I really need them, so I'm going to just ignore them. Okay, go, 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 go. Almost down to the main part. 
of the building. Okay, careful not to get hit by anything, even the stuff on the ground. Good. We should be heading back down to the main part of the building now. Down these stairs, carefully. Oh my goodness, Zelda, you're pushing me around a little bit much. But luckily I'm not hitting anything. Oh, nope, never mind. Getting hit. It does give you a lot of time to actually get out of here. As long as you get through the enemies fast enough, you should be fine. Speaking of enemies, there's also this redhead here. On this bridge, which we saw going out the back of the castle. From the main room. And I think we probably want to just switch back to the Master Sword now. Go Zelda, go. And here we are at the exit. It's over. It's finally over. Link, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the battle before. Ganon. There's no way he's going to hold me back again. This time we fight together. Okay. Ganon, I really have no idea what his weak point is. But if we can dodge his attacks, we can also shoot his tail with light arrows. We should be fairly effective against him. But also I'm pretty sure that every weapon you could possibly use against him does the same amount of damage. And if you uh, take the time to go get bigger on sword, you can actually equip it during the fight to keep using it. You'll get set to no weapon though, whenever you start the fight, just because you're supposed to have no weapon when you start the fight. So, let's just do this.
You can kind of go, go between his legs as well if you need to. If you can do it right. Ow. Just like that. Ow. I think when his tail is in the air, you can't hit it. Which is a little bit annoying. Okay, good. You can also break the stuff around you to drop magic and health if you need it. So you just lure him where you want to get stuff. You can also shoot him in the face if you want to stun him for a little bit, but you have to use repeated shots to actually make anything of it. Link! The Master Sword is here! Hurry up! I'll take this. Use the Master Sword. Destroy Ganon with the Sacred Sword. Back in we go. Come on. Thank you. Ah! Drop some magic, which is good for me. Except I'm getting knocked around a lot. Give me the magic, please. Why can't I grab the magic? There we go. Can't get it when I'm targeting him, apparently. Okay. Oh my goodness, he's really knocking me down right now. Push him in the face, please. Thank you. Oh, that's actually completely stunned him. I think regular arrows is the one that I was thinking about. They have to do repeatedly. Light arrows is a lot more effective against him with stunning. Very nice. Blocking the sword. Not trying to press that one, please. Stop doing that. Okay. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Might be good to try and get some more magic if I can make him do that. Oh my goodness. He's a little bit terrifying when he's following you like that at full speed. Oh, hey, fairies. I didn't... Well, that's very conveniently helpful. Okay, please give me magic, though. I could use my magic potion since this is the final boss, though. And that would be completely fine. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. Ow. He's really angry at me. Can't imagine why. Okay, shoot him in the face, and let's hit your weak point. Here we go. Ah! Stun you again. Come on. Must be getting close now. Oh. I feel getting pretty close. There we go. I'm using my power to hold the evil king. You use your sword and deliver the final blow. Six sages now. Ancient creators of Hyrule.
Now, open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. Yeah. Curse you, Zelda. Curse you, L sages. Curse you, Link. Someday, when this seal is broken. That is when I will exterminate your descendants. As long as the trifles of power is in my hand. Thank you, Link. Thanks to you, Ganondorf has been sealed inside the evil realm. Thus, peace will once again reign in this world for a time. All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not com comprehend this, the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. I dragged you into it, too. Now it is time for me to make up my, for my mistakes. You must lay the Master Sword to rest and close the door of time. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. Link, give me the, the, the ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. When peace returns to Hyrule, it will be time for us to say goodbye. Now, go home, Link. Regain your lost time. Home. Where you are supposed to be. The way you are supposed to be. Thank you, Link. Goodbye.
And that is the end. So just as a, a final few things. Um, so Navi leaves at the end of that. So leaving Link and so Link in Majora's Mask continues the story by going to go find Navi. Uh, but also, if we go to the pause screen on the quest status, it's theorized that originally at some point in development you were actually supposed to get the Triforce at the end of the game or something like that, and that was supposed to be a thing you did, and possibly is why there's a Triforce in the middle of the medallions on the quest status screen. But other than that, that is everything. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.